this with the Denver Police Department. I'm going to be interviewing Commander Ron Sonia in relation to the murder suicide that occurred in the 4900 block of Pearl Street. Commander Sonia, if you can let us run us through the incident that occurred yesterday. Yeah, yesterday morning, shortly before 7 o'clock in the morning, Denver Police Department responded to a call of uh, multiple parties down in the 4900 block of Pearl Street. Uh, upon arrival, they located a deceased female, adult female, in the house. Uh, there was two small children that were also pronounced at the scene. An additional child was transported to a local hospital, uh, where is currently still in critical condition. We began investigating this crime and looking into it uh, throughout the investigation. We uh, continued into the late hours last night processing the scene, continued this morning with the autopsies at the Office of the Medical Examiner. Uh, throughout our investigation, it appears at this time that this is a homicide-suicide, that the female that was involved in the situation wound up uh, taking the lives of two of her childs and then seriously injured another child and then uh, committed suicide or took her own life. Uh, it's a very unfortunate event. It's been very tragic for the family, the friends, the community that's out there. Uh, my heart and the hearts of the Denver Police Department investigators and police officers that have been involved in this go out to the family and community. And you discussed yesterday how we cannot um, give information as far as evidence. Can you tell the community why we are not able to discuss evidence? I guess the first, the biggest thing that we have is it's right in our policy manual that we don't discuss or release information about evidence. But to that effect, uh, we hold on to a lot of evidence a lot of times so that we don't jeopardize an investigation. There are things at a crime scene that only the person that committed that crime are going to know. And if we put out all that information, we could be handing it to, you know, the media could cause someone to come forward with a false uh, statement with information. So a lot of times we're withholding that evidence to it helps us to clarify, to verify information that we're receiving from people. If we put out what evidence we have, then that's not a safety valve that we have in place. Thank you. Mm -hmm.